Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and this is our daily show. We have an updated board, so we have four more plays for you. Uh, before we break into everything, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, we uh, try to notify you guys when we're actually looking for our plays. I apologize, I forgot to for this video, but typically we wanna let you know when the video is coming. So if you have notifications on, you'll know that uh, we're gonna be providing you with some plays shortly. Um, and thank you so much. You guys killed it on yesterday's video. Uh, we really appreciate you liking the video. It's the best way to support the channel. Um, it just helps us so much. So we really appreciate you guys. Um, so uh, quickly, we're gonna talk about our partners, um, Parlay Play. Um, we are running a, uh, a special right now. Um, if you sign up for Parlay Play and use code BACKDOOR, um, they are gonna give you 100% deposit match up to $100 plus a $5 uh, free play, uh, which is just like a promo play. But on top of that, um, we're gonna give you a month in our premium Discord. Uh, all you have to do is make sure you use the code because if you don't put the code in, it, you won't be able to get into the Discord. Um, they're gonna verify it with us. Uh, Parlay Play is going to. Um, so uh, make sure you put that code in and um, all you have to do is email us at bd, uh, bdfantasysports at gmail.com and we will verify with Parlay Play that the code was submitted and uh, we will get you in the Discord for a month. Um, that is just for Parlay Play right now. Uh, we're running this special. Um, if you haven't signed up for Underdog, they also have a killer platform. Uh, if you use code BACKDOOR at Underdog, they're going to give you up to $1,000 in bonus cash, plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. Um, so yeah, uh, those two are in the description of the video if you want to sign up for either of those platforms. Now let's talk about the plays that we're liking for today. Um, I'm going to be taking RJ Barrett. I like this PRA. We're getting it a full point cheaper on Parlay Play. I'm getting it at 36 and a half. I'm going to be taking that for more. And then Trace Jackson Davis, I like him to go over 20 fantasy score. Um, on underdog, uh, they do not have Trace's fantasy score, so I'm taking his 15.5 uh, 15 15 PRA um, and RJ Barrett 37 uh, and a half uh, PRA. I'm taking that uh, even though it's a, a point higher. And then same thing on prize picks. Uh, we are getting Trace Jackson Davis's fantasy score, which is uh, what I prefer. Um, and then uh, over the, the PRA, but I like them both. It's real close. I just want the fantasy score a little bit more. Um, and then RJ Barrett, 37 and a half, still going to take it for more. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so I'm going to be going with uh, Lou Dort's fantasy score at 18. Really liking that line. On underdog, we're taking his three pointers made that are 1.5, but we are getting that fantasy score over here on parlay play as well. Um, Nikola Jovic, we're taking his points at nine and a half. We're getting that on all three platforms at nine and a half. So feeling good about all two of those lines. All right, let's start breaking them down. Uh, so I'll start with, uh, who do I got here? RJ Barrett. So we still don't have any Scotty Barnes. That's why I, that's the main reason I really love this play. Um, he's doing the majority of the work. Um, you can see if we use outlier here, uh, this is set on his PRA. If we uh, take Scotty Barnes out of the equation, um, he, he's gone for 43 PRA and 50 PRA. Uh, he went for 12 assists in that last matchup against LA. We also have Emmanuel quickly a game time decision tonight too. Um, but yeah, he's gone for, uh, he's gotten this done in 33.3 uh, minutes in the first game without Barnes and then 31.8 minutes. So I'm really, I'm really loving this. I'm just going to be riding this until uh, he gives me a reason not to. Um, so if we look at the uh, the matchup here, uh, 12th in points allowed, 7th in rebounds allowed, and 14th in assists allowed. So not like a, a super juicy like cake matchup, um, but middle of the road when it comes to points allowed and uh, assists allowed. And then um, rebounds allowed, not too scary, 7th. Um, and then let's take a look at this over under. Uh, 235 and a half over under uh, the Kings favored by eight and a half, but we're playing in Toronto. Um, so I just think it's going to have like, he's going to have to have a good game. Um, you know, there is a chance for blowout, but we saw him getting this done in back to back games without Barnes on just over 30 minutes. So I think he'll, even if there is a blowout, he'll get 30 minutes tonight. So I'm going to be uh, just riding, riding with, uh, with uh, RJ here. Um, he's gone for 31 points and 33 points. So he's just really doing great. And um, so far, uh, you know, he eclipsed that the first time out and then had an even better game 
uh, the next night out. So he is coming off of a back to back. So keep that in mind. Um, but I, that doesn't scare me personally, but just keep that in mind. Uh, if you, if you, you know, if that scares you, uh, just, just fade it. Um, cause we put out, uh, picks last night too. So there's plenty to choose from. If you don't like this play, um, let's take a look at daily grind here. I forgot to put this in. So I'll just, uh, type in RJ and see what they have to say about it. All right. So they do not, they, they have it slightly favored under, I had it set to overs cause I was looking for overs. Um, let me go to all and I'll show you exactly what they think. Yeah, they have everything of his favored to the under. Um, so go with your guy. The only thing they have favored to the over is his points at 25, but they must have just bumped it down if that's the case, because I think it was at 25 and a half earlier. I'm going with the PRA. I think part of it is because it's at that 37 and a half. Um, it's just slightly favored to the under. 50.51% um, odds to hit the under minus 120. Um, so it is favoring the 36 and a half to go over. So if you have parlay play, just play it on there. Um, but I'm taking it on prize picks too. I'm locking this in. Um, all right. So the next play, Trace Jackson Davis. We have no Steph Curry again. So um, and then and then this matchup, you know, is uh, is going to be tough. And he's a he's a tough player. Um, so uh, with Shangun uh, playing the five, I, I just think that they're going to need uh, Trace's physicality. Um, so I like him to get this done. And this and the reason I want to take the fantasy score, you can we're taking the PRA on some platforms. I like that too. We'll take a look at that PRA matchup real quick. Um, so yeah, middle of the road again. Thirteenth in points allowed, eleventh in rebounds allowed, and uh, tenth in assists allowed. Um, and then I was thinking to myself, like, do I want to take just the PRA? Well, the reason I want to take the fantasy score is because um, he's not like super active. He's he's good. He's been good for like, you know, four of the last five games. He's been good for like one block um, or one steal. Uh, but he's been great on the, the turnover situation. Um, just one turnover um, or one turnover a game. So like if he's if he's getting one block or steal and just one turnover, we're still netting two points off of that because the block or the steal is worth three points. So the turnovers don't scare me in this situation. Um, but if we look at the last time they played head to head, um, he only had one turnover in the, the two times that he's played them. And then uh, if we look at those blocks and steals, um, he had two, he had like a block and a steal. So that would be um, that would be a net what five points right there i'm not saying he's going to definitely go for um like two blocks and steals but the matchup is solid um you know 28th and blocks allowed fifth and steals allowed is a little bit cleaner uh to that uh center position and then overall um they're a little bit cleaner with like turning the ball over but 26th and blocks allowed so um overall as a team so i'm going to be going with the fantasy score also if we take a look at the pra last time he played them uh, he had a good outing. He went for uh, 29 uh, PRA, um, and that line's just set at 15 and a half. Um, so I'm loving that. And then if we look at the whole fantasy score, um, you can see, yeah, 37. Uh, so I'm feeling comfortable with either of those, but I'm personally going to take the uh, the fantasy score because I think he's going to have to play some defense tonight. Um, so uh, yeah, let's talk about Trace. On daily grind they have his fantasy score uh, set to go over so it's at uh, 20.5 it must have moved um, but they still have a favor to go over 51.89 percent odds to hit the over and um, bet MGM has this up at 21.1 already and I still believe we're getting it on parlay play at 20 flat we are and the RJ Barrett at 36 instead of 37 and a half so I'm feeling good about this um, and uh, I actually, my my plays from last night are still up. So I'm gonna lock these in and make a four man uh, out of them. Um, if you guys wanna check out this app Outlier, um, you can try it for free. There's a link in the description of the video. Uh, just go and sign up through that link and they're gonna give you seven days to, to check this out for free. They cover matchups, injury reports, and insights about the players. And I, I love this app. I use it, especially the injury reports this early in the season. Um, you know, it's like we know that as of four hours ago, Emmanuel quickly is considered a game time decision um, with uh, looks like a pelvic bruise. 
or something going on there. So um, it's killer. So go try it out for free. You can, uh, you know, apply it to the next week of NBA and NFL. So might as well. All right, Jordy. All right. Elvig Brews, huh? That's an interesting one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dwight Howard's hanging around them. But uh, we got <laughs> Lou Dort for me for his fantasy score. I really like this one. Um, his fantasy score at 18 is just super duper low over his last 10 games going even back into the last season he's gone over this nine out of ten games this season he's hit it four out of five um he's just this line is really low i mean over the last two games he's gone for 34 and 35 uh fantasy score lou dort is a really good defender and he's a really good three-point shooter so i always like uh these three and d guys fantasy scores when they're really low uh, if you look at the defense here um, his blocks and steals. He had four steals in two blocks in that last game against Portland. So, um, you know, the game before that against San Antonio, he had two blocks. The first game of the year, he had uh, three steals, one block. So the dude is a really, really good defender. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys watched them in the playoffs last year, but he was guarding everyone challenging um, that they could possibly put him on. Um, against uh, Dallas, I think they had him guarding, like, Luca for a long time it was a really good series um but <clears throat> Lou Dort his three-point shooting I mean over the 1.5 line he's gone he went over that 56 out of 89 games last year this year he's already gone over it two out of five you can see how hot this guy can get shooting the three-pointers uh six threes against San Antonio four against Atlanta so he can get hot um we've all seen Lou Dort also be ice cold so don't be surprised if this guy comes out and goes over seven from three because that's also something he will give you sometimes so that's just the unfortunateness with this guy's it's really up or down so right now um he's trending up so i want to get a piece of this uh and it's a great matchup for him 26 and three point shooting allowed um so i think that's great for him because that is a lot of what he does um but when it comes to just regularly scoring the ball um yeah i mean all of his points literally came from three pointers in that game so um, you know, I, I like it. I think uh, this is a really, really low line. So if he can just hit like a couple threes um, and get us a block or a steal, we're like more than halfway there. So i um, really liking this line at 18. It's just super duper low. So uh, if we look at this on daily grind, they have a favor to go under by 52%. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe they're just expecting him to be cold. I don't know. But uh, they have um, his full PRA juice to go over. So give me the full PRA juice to go over with the defensive capabilities that he has on top of it. And if, like, I'd like it over. I'm not sure why they like it under, but that's just me. Uh, that's what I'm going with. So my next play is going to be Nikola Jovic uh, for over nine and a half points. I really like just the points in this matchup because he's gone over this three out of four times already. He's gone for 15, 10, 6, and 10. Um, we're just needing him to get nine and a half or over nine and a half points against Washington. A uh, very fast paced team. This guy plays at a pretty fast pace. Um, he's one of those like transition three guys. Like he, he's really, uh, he, he does well with the pace. Whereas a lot of the Miami Heat players do not. I think him and Tyler Hero really are like the run the floor guys. If you watch them play, um, him and Tyler Hero are both the ones that are like running back and trying to get easy points on breakaways and stuff like that. They're like the young, quick guys. So I uh, really like what I'm seeing from the Heat with those two playing side by side. They look really good. Um, so yeah, soft point matchup uh, to power forward, 28th uh, in points allowed, uh, shooting or giving up a value of 31.2. And uh, you know, when it comes to him, he's a great three-point shooter too. He's shooting 36%, which is not terrible at all. He's shooting up a whole bunch of them too. Uh, seven attempts, five, four, and four. And he's shooting 50% in the last two games. So hopefully tonight he can just uh, not be cold and uh, get out there and get this done really quickly. Um, there's some of these games where he gets off to a red hot start and this isn't even a sweat at all. Obviously, two of these games were really close, but uh, I think he's just getting rolling this year. And the head to head, he's hit this both times as well 10, 12 points against Washington. So uh, hopefully he'll get a bunch of minutes tonight. I'm sure there's blowout potential in this game, so just be aware of that. There always is when Washington's involved, but Washington's looking a little bit more capable of keeping the game within reach. So their defense looks a little bit better this year for sure. But uh, they also just score a ton of points. So, um, yeah, really liking what I'm seeing from this play as well. Uh, if we look at this on daily grind, it is used to go under as well. 51.74% chance and a minus 127. But 
go with your gut. If you don't like the nine and a half line, you don't have to take it. His points rebounds are juicy to go over. Um, you can take that if you want, but you need another six rebounds on top of what he's giving you points wise, which for him, I mean, is probably doable, but I just don't like adding in that added risk. I mean, that just makes the play even harder to hit. You can see he does, he's done well against them with the rebounding six and eight rebounds in the head to head. But this year he's only gone for six rebounds one time. Um, and he's only gone for five, four and four. So I just don't like that added value on top. If he was going for like six or seven rebounds every game of course but uh right now i just like the points so getting all those on all platforms when it comes to lou dort with the 1.53 pointers made on underdog you see why i like that now because that's all he does is really shoot threes so uh that's why i like that play but yeah that's going to cover it all for me if you guys want to check out daily grind like i was just showing you um you know it's just the best when it comes to finding value really fast um if you honestly you would make so much uh winning slips if you just sat here and refreshed this all day and you just took the highest plays and they really give you insane value um some of the fantasy scores are a little iffy on like why they don't like them to hit especially with football but um you know a lot of these like points assist props or the three pointers like you will get a lot of early early value in this in this app so it is really good if you are serious about dfs and you play it a lot this app is really good and it will help you cash a lot more so if you want to check it out use code backdoor and they'll give you 25 percent off there's a link in the description for that as well but just use that code backdoor at checkout and they'll give you 25 percent off your first purchase so if you want to lock it in for a month three months six months or a year um you can do that and it'll give you 25 percent off of your first purchase so uh, definitely take advantage of that and that's going to cover everything for me all right and uh, if you guys want to check out Chalkboard, that's another partner of ours. They're like the king of alt lines. They have like just so many alt lines over there. Um, and then they also have like six specials a day that they run um, and plays as low as a dollar. So if you're looking to diversify, um, we've got a couple different platforms we work with and Chalkboard is one of them. Uh, just use code BACKDOOR and uh, they will give you 100% deposit match up to $100 plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. Um, I was just looking at that uh, Heat Wizards. There is a slight chance of blowout, but it's not too bad. Just nine and a half point spread, uh, two twenty four and a half over under. Um, if you guys want to come check out our Discord, um, all you have to do is go through the uh, Patreon link in the description of the video. We use that to manage our subscriptions. So once you've signed up there, you just go into the settings on Patreon. There's a connected apps option in the menu bar, and then you just connect your Discord. It's real simple. Uh, if you do that, make sure you hop in the community chat. Let us know you're new because we would love to just show you around a little bit and uh, let you know how to use it properly so you get the most value out of it. Um, and then don't forget to follow us on our socials. We have all of our socials linked in the description. Um, and then all of the platforms we're on, X, Instagram, TikTok, uh, that's just at, <coughs> excuse me, at Backdoor FS. My <laughs> throat right there. Oh my gosh. At Backdoor FS. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, we post bonus content on there. Definitely go follow our boy Moose. Uh, he's he's posting plays like every day. Uh, he's really good with the two man slips if, if that's your thing. So um, so yeah, we appreciate you guys so much. Um, thank you for tuning in and good luck. And we will be dropping later. We should be dropping the NFL video and then hopefully we get an updated board early tonight uh, so we can drop the late night NBA video too. So we should have two more videos coming um nfl should be sooner than later and then yeah after the games we'll we'll drop another nba video so make sure to tune in all right see you guys later